This is the tech spot's personal voice. I know that sounds crazy. And yeah, you could just basically have a theme on your device. What? It just worked. What's up guys, the tech spy here, and iOS 18 is basically out, so I want to show you guys my top favorite personal picks for features coming to you soon. Alright, so starting off on the lock screen, if you go in and customize, you guys could see change the different toggles over here. So right now we have flashlight and the camera app. So I go and tap on this and you guys can see now it's empty. Tap on the plus. So we have everything from calculator to translate to alarm. Open a series shortcut and the list goes on and on. Now I have Shazam or listen music. I could just tap on this button and it'll show me the music that that is playing around me. Toggle it on and off super quick. Up next, if I unlock my device and go to control center, you guys can see it looks different. The icons are a little bit more rounded. It looks nice, a bit more compact. This is what it looks like when you bring up the album art cover and it also has the device that is connected to at the bottom. This part is really cool. So if I tap and hold on the flashlight, you guys could see. Now I could also go ahead and adjust the ray. So you guys can see I can make it concentrate just to the middle or expand. And I could also increase and decrease the brightness. The animation is just so cool. It even appears up here at the top, dynamic island. Now the toggles over here, this is what it looks like when you tap on it, it brings us to a full list. On top of that, next to the volume button, you also have these different toggles. So you can go ahead and swipe between the music, the different settings. And then over here, again, you're back to the main control center. So it's really cool just to toggle between just like that. If you tap on hold on a blank space, now everything can be moved around, deleted, or just added. So you can go ahead and also add stuff to control center very easily. So yeah, that's really cool that's the new control center also if you go ahead and search for a specific toggle let's say bluetooth you can see it pops up with the toggle and you can also go ahead and interact with it turn it on or off so that's really cool it actually feels pretty smooth and i haven't really had any glitches except for some of the new features not working which i'll show in a second but yeah everything looks great and i love the way it feels now with the calendar app you can now connect it with reminders so the reminders will basically show up in your calendar and you could zoom in and out it's like this too in your days zoom more in in the camera app you also have spatial video for apple vision Pro. So so you can record spatial videos. That's so cool. You got raw and quick toggle to adjust the warmth and the tone. And yeah, so that is the Photos app. The Maps app is nice. It also shows hike routes now. So if you want to go on a hike, you can simply just go in and search for hikes on here. And it'll give you a whole route for hikes, which is nice. It also shows the temperature right there. Photos now has a new design. Everything is a little bit more compact. I'm not sure how I feel about the Photos app right now. It's organized, but I feel like it's a little bit too much. In the future, when you go in and tap on edit to edit a photo, there will be a button called cleanup at the bottom. And it's only in developer betas right now. I'm on the public beta. But if you want to go and remove something from the image, let's say the stroller, all you would do is circle it and then it would remove that object and fill it in. So that's coming to the future as well. I don't like how it looks when it plays videos. It kind of zooms out like this. It's kind of hard to scrub on this scrubber that they made. And if you want to see the full video, you have to tap on every single time. But the one thing is, is that it does loop. So I think that was a feature that's actually pretty cool. Over here, you have different sort by actions. So you could sort by recently or whatever you want. And add different filters and view options. Zoom in and out to stuff like that. That. There's also a search function directly at the top. In the notes app, you can now just write equations. One plus two equals, and it will go ahead and hit solve. And there you go, it writes it out for you too. So that's so cool. Now also, if you go ahead and tap on the plus icon, you could tap on attachments, and you guys can see there's an option to record your audio. So I can be like, what's up guys, the tech spot here, and put this, hit done. And now you can see it is over there in my notes as well. The app store basically looks the same, except for when you head over to games, you now have the categories at the top, like racing, and I can see all the race games right from the get-go. The calculator app is now beefed up. So if you tap on this button over here, you guys could see you have the different calculators so you now have scientific and also math notes and when you make your calculations it'll actually keep a history of what you typed in so I put six times six and also you guys could see a whole history of like today so it keeps all that bookmarked basically in the app this is what the app library looks like now and I like how it just kind of goes to the top right there and looks super nice now let's go to the most fun part which is basically the settings app so you can see again it has that more compact kind of looks more organized as well so you have the camera at the top and also all the stuff that you would need right at the top as well tap on iCloud you guys could see that it also has a new layout as well a lot more clean and less cluttered when you go into any of the menus you guys could see that it does give a description of everything so there's Wi-Fi there's Bluetooth cellular for every setting it gives a description about looks more refined too and on top of that if I scroll down there's airplay and continuity and this is to basically be able to mirror your iPhone on your Mac so you control your iPhone completely on your Mac which is a really cool feature I couldn't really get it to work you do have to update to Mac OS Sequoia but it still wasn't working 
thing for me. And if you guys don't know, you could already use your iPhone as a camera when you're using a Mac. So when you're using your Mac and like FaceTime, you can use your iPhone as the camera for the webcam. The iPhone's a much better camera. And if you go in and scroll down, there's also says game controller now. And yeah, I could see that I could basically with the connected controller, I have my Xbox controller connected right over here, that I could change the different profiles and everything. I could add games and put different buttons that I want for each game. So that is really cool. If I tap on add profile, yeah, I could see that you could change basically any single button to whatever you want it to be and make it game specific as well. And if you scroll down, VPN and device management is now its own tab tab right there and transfer a reset iPhone. Oh, and speaking of resetting your iPhone, there's also a power button. If you go and tap on it and hold on to it for a little bit, you could power off your device from here too, instead of having to hold down the buttons. Now back to the main setting page, it gets really cool where it says accessibility. So there's actually some really cool features in here. All right, there's a lot here, but I first just want to focus on Apple Watch mirroring. So you guys can see it right there. You can mirror your Apple Watch on your iPhone. For me, I couldn't really get this to work. I did update my Apple Watch the latest version too, but yeah, I couldn't really get it to connect. So again, these new features are are basically still being worked oh my wait hold up oh my wait what it just worked that's crazy oh my god i'm actually controlling my apple watch using my phone holy okay before it wasn't working it just started working on video i guess how do i go back so i still get to understand how to fully use it but yeah that's really cool so it actually works for me now and next you guys can see control nearby devices <laughs> It'll basically just bring them a prompt saying allow access and once you hit allow then allow them to control your phone so in facetime there's literally just an icon you tap on it now what's also cool is music haptics so Basically, when you play a song or anything, any audio on your device, your phone will vibrate in accordance to that. So it gives you like a kind of feel for that too. So enable this toggle and my phone is literally vibrating right now. This is so cool. It's like a subtle vibrate too based on the sound. So yeah, that's music haptics. And then we also have live speech. So once you enable this, all you have to do is triple press your side button. So one, two, three. And yeah, I can see it pops with live speech. Now, if I go ahead and type something like, hi, my name is Usman and hit search. Hi, my name is Usman. You heard the voice. It's basically my voice. So you can make it say anything like, hello. Hello. But yeah, that's live speech. It's quick and easy access with a triple press when you just enable it. And the next thing is personal voice. So you guys heard basically my AI. So it had me record 150 different phrases and overnight, it'll basically go ahead and create an AI voice for you. And you can just go to pause any time to just come back to it. But once you do, there is your voice recording and I can also get a preview. This is the TechSpot's personal voice. I know that sounds crazy. But it's because it actually is, but it's so cool. And it could basically be used with live speech, which I just showed you guys what that is with the triple press. Spoken content, which is basically when you have a readout of an article. I couldn't really get that to work. You guys can see when I hit speak. For the protection of our customers. It's still the regular voice, but if I go back and scroll up over to spoken content, you guys can see that there's not really an option to change the voice to yours, right? So you just have a bunch of different languages and it doesn't really have an option to put your voice right now. What's up guys, the tech spot here. Let me know what you think of that. Do you like AI the tech spot better or real me the tech spot better? It's really pretty cool. So yeah, that's personal voice. Let's go ahead and look at the wallpapers. So wallpapers has actually been moved all the way down over here now. Add new, namely these ones over here. So those are some new ones. Oh, okay, I'm gonna go back. And then we also have these ones. So there's actually a dynamic one that changes colors by itself as you guys could see, or you could just go ahead and choose a color yourself. I'm currently rocking the blue one and I really like how it looks. On top of that, for certain apps, you can also go and tap and hold, require face ID. But anyways, aside from that, if I go in and swipe over, you guys can see now we also do have a passwords app. So they will store all your passwords in this one app for you. You guys can see I have a bunch of compromised passwords and it basically shows you everything over here neatly and it's no longer available in the settings. It's just its own separate app, which I think is actually better. Oh, and I can't forget about the feature where if you go ahead and edit your home screen now, you could tap on customize and here you can also go and change the app tint so you can make all your apps dark and give your phone a theme or all of them automatic so it changes based on the time of day automatically based on what you ever set on your phone or even just make it whatever you want so you could change the opacity too so make the color super vibrant and yeah, you could just basically have a theme on your device. My only complaint with this is that you cannot use it when you're in the light mode. So when you're in the light mode, you guys could see that the apps are no longer tinted. But yeah, you could also make your wallpaper dark or light just by hitting that little sunshine. And then you also have the option of making your icons large. And when you do it, remove the app icon labels. So let's see what that looks like in the tinted mode. I think yellow looks really cool. You can see it's like purple now. I no longer have any app labels. I personally like how it looks more with 
the small, but yeah. Those are basically all the major features in iOS 18 that I have found. If you feel like I have missed something, please leave a comment down below and we will probably see iOS 18 officially released to the public around September 16th. Let me know if you guys would like me to make more iOS 18 videos. This is the TechSpot. Enjoy the rest of your day. Peace.